I started looking into this genre about a year ago, one of the hoodies that caught my attention was this hoodie, this brown camo color. I liked the cut, the style, especially the arms. This black one looks nice as well, and the white color as well. Basically, most of the colors that this comes in looks very good. But the question always is, do you get in real life what you see in the image? And for this, the answer is no, as expected. But this one wasn't too bad either. Just like the villain leather jacket, leather jacket that I reviewed about two weeks ago, this one was different from what I expected, but was still good. So I have the version I got here. What I'll do is I'll go through the image and then go through the result. Let's get started. So if you're looking at the image right now, the first thing you realize is the image looks like the hoodie is made up of some kind of cotton or a blend of cotton or polyester, but it looks like it should drip well. And in my opinion looks more like a hooded shirt than it does a hoodie, like the kind of hoodie you wear during the spring or during the fall to keep yourself warm. This one looks more like it's a casual stylish hoodie. You're meant to wear this when you're going out, not necessarily to keep you warm, but to look good. And in comparison, the item I got this one is, is a kind of fleece. So this will definitely keep you very warm. I first wore this during the summer and I remember sweating my butt off. It was very warm and it was good in the plane cause it kept me warm. But outside that it was too warm, extra warm. So if you're going to order this from any of those stores that may be advertising it this spring and into the summer, know that this is more uh, an item you wear to keep you warm than it is just for casual stuff. Secondly, like most things you find in many of these stores, it's not going to be exactly the same. So like I said, it looks like cotton in the image, but in the item you receive in real life, this is fleece. So if you look on the inside, that's the best way to know. You see the soft brushed inside. This is fabric used mostly to make hoodies, the kind of hoodies that keep you warm. It's usually simple on the outside and then brushed on the inside to give you a soft texture. Feels like cotton, like Q-tips cotton, not cotton that you wear. So off the bat, that's the first thing you realize. Now, how about the design? If we look at the shoulder here, you realize that the shoulder looks very similar to what the image shows. But I want you to observe something. There is a slight difference between what you see here and what you see in the image. Let me explain. So these kinds of designs are made through two different techniques. The first technique is called pin tucks. Now what you see here is actually a pin tuck. This means that if you look very closely, you realize that the areas that are folded are sold down exactly at the fold. So this makes them stand up a bit more than they would. So these are pin tucks. You also realize on the sides here, they're sewed to stay down on the edges here. They're sewed to stay down and this causes them to stand up ironically in the middle. Now, this is one way of doing this. The other way of doing this is called pleats. The best way to remember what a pleat is, is Imagine those old women's skirts, the ones that were folded. I grew up in Nigeria, so when I was growing up, many girls wore those kind of skirts to go to school. They were school uniforms. If that doesn't jog your memory, then think of just old school skirt where you see that one part of the fabric is folded and sewed over another one. I'll put an image somewhere here. Those are pleats. Now pleats are made instead of sewed to stand up, they're stoves, they're sewed to lay down. So if you look at this image here, the reference image, you observe that it flows like a wave down, right? It flows like a wave down. It's supposed to be smooth, smoothly going down, not stand up like this. And these can be used for different design patterns. I've seen hoodies that look good with the pin tucks, and I've seen hoodies that look good with the pleats. It's a matter of choice. But for this specific design that goes around during these periods, that one was made likely with a pleat. The one I received here is made with pin tucks. So while the design looks very similar, the design is not the same. The drawstrings, however, are like these. 
they're very well made. Use the twirl pattern on the drawstring. And for the laces here at the end, I mean, this is the common shoelace kind of drawstring, so that's okay. And, um, and you can see here, this is how you know that these guys are not the original designers. Most stores you'll buy this from, if you're buying it from stores during this period, will have something like this. This is a very generic tag here. Now the original company that manufactured this, I couldn't find them, but they would have something different here. And overall, the fabric on the outside, like I said, this is fleece, but they also used slub fleece. Let me explain. Now, slub fabric, I like slub fabric because it adds some kind of texture, both visually and physically to the item. So regular cotton can just be like plain cotton that you wear. With slub, what you'll observe is there are some imperfections in the fabric that causes it to have some nice white or gray lines on the fabric. So when you go through, when you look at the fabric and you feel through the fabric, you get like some ridges on it that just, it stands out, it stands out. So it's okay. It still looks good, especially in this camo color. Now this camo color you receive here is lighter than the camo color in the image, a lot lighter, but this one is okay as well. So overall, if it was this, would I have bought it? No. There are some items you see online that you like the way they look, but you wouldn't necessarily buy them. This is one of them. If I'd seen this online, I probably would have liked it, but I would have bought it. But I like the one in the image. So what we did was, like I told you, we remake some of these, the ones that we like, and we can't find the original ones. So our version of this has, um, we change the fabric back to cotton. It's thick cotton, about 300 GSM, which is pretty thick, but it's also good for the fall and spring. But we change it back to, back to cotton and um, very soft cotton as well, bamboo cotton. It feels nice and soft. It has some texture on the inside. So I love that one. So we did that. Um, we reduced the, the length of the neck here of the hoodie neck so that it's more fitted when you wear it it actually looks like a casual hoodie more so than a warm hoodie and um we changed the cut on the downside to make it a scallop cut this is a scallop cut as well but this scallop cut is a little too deep if you can see it it's a little too deep so we reduced the amount here but made it a scallop cut as well and then we added our brand on the inside. On this one, you can see it's written simply S-I-I-M-H-W-R-S-S. -S. There isn't really a brand there. We added our brand there. And like I always say, if you find someone else that has made something like this, let me know. Now, one other company that has made this that looks pretty good online is Liv Nelson. I have praised Liv Nelson over and over again over their awesome sweaters. So if you're looking for sweaters, go to Liv Nelson. They have a version of this that I discovered that's pretty good too. There's another, there's a second company that makes this as well, this kind of design. I forget what they're called, but you can check on Amazon. So you have three options. You can buy the one you see in these stores. You can buy them from AliExpress. You can go on Amazon and get from Liv Nelson or compare them to the one we have on Mara.com company. Either way, if you do end up purchasing one of the ones we recreated, let me know what you think in the comment section. And um, we have a few more colors coming in from China towards the summer in white and light gray. And we're working towards a lot more down towards the fall, but we have the black ones available. So if you do get one, let me know what you think about it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.